arrived in Bangkok and thank you so much for Sogaba team to pick me up from my gates so it made my transit a lot easier it's a really giant airport in Bangkok so I could have been like really lost so now we are heading into their private jet check-in counter and see you guys soon on the island arrived on the island and I want to give you a quick tour of the plane it's a very small one but it's very comfortable and here's our captain hi and uh, let's go to see the island we arrived the island but apparently we have to take a speedboat before we go to the actual island beautiful view here Arrived <laughs> and there's people welcoming. Thank you. And here's the island. It's a beautiful sunny day, and everything here is like a natural rainforest and supernatural. And they do suggest for all the guests not to wear any shoes on the island, but right now it's too hot, so maybe I will try it tomorrow. Heading over to our villa. Super excited to see it. And tomorrow I'm definitely gonna be shoeless. So, guys, I wanna give you a quick room tour of my villa. This place is massive. So, here you have the living area first. So much area to chill. I have my pool down there. Here's my bedroom. Let's go in and have a look. How gorgeous. This is a eco-friendly resort. Oh, I love the mosquito net and the fan. Here's a little chest corner apparently in this box it's my TV and here's my itinerary for the next five days this cute mosquito nets everywhere and when I get out that's another chilling area and my own pool Over there, we have the bus, outdoor bus. I have outdoor rain shower. It's so gorgeous. And there's an indoor shower here from the outdoor shower. Here is the washroom, the basins. How cute. I have a whole villa just for the basins. 
and uh, also there's a chilling area here this place is huge from here I have another staircase I can go directly down to my pool and here's pretty much my villa at a glance wow so here is they have like a mini library this is bathroom wow I thought it's a living room happy hour this is the bar wow this is beautiful and the view from the bar this is I think it's the breakfast area <laughs> oh oh my god oh my god this is where I can watch all the stars and the moons I'm coming back tomorrow night and this is the breakfast and restaurant area super chilled oh my god I want to move in here can this be my home? this is the complex for breakfast I feel like a kid in the treehouse <gasps> So the breakfast buffet will be hosted here every morning and sometimes they do buffet dinner and maybe performance here too and here up there is where I can watch the stars and on my right hand side this is the international a la carte restaurant where you can have international food so chilled this is their special ice cream menu so according apparently they have 60 different ice creams and every day they will be uh, serving different kinds of ice creams <gasps> it looks so yummy I need a scoop and guess what kids this is your heaven number two it's the chocolate room every day you can come here to have all the chocolates you want and all the macarons you want on top of that you have milk tea you have coffee which is in making and oh, here's my ice cream my ice cream has arrived thank you very much oh my god I'm gonna try it so I have ordered um, mango sorbet and Thai milk tea mmm I'm gonna be here every day I'm gonna try all different 60 flavors and I'm in the room of happiness so happy seriously guys this is so peaceful and so beautiful I could totally live here I'm moving here actually and I'm never gonna leave so while I'm eating my ice cream I'm gonna provide you a little bit background of this hotel they opened 10 years ago but now they have 35 different villas they have one bedroom two six bedroom they're all super massive you have so much privacy here and they have different beaches super eco-friendly they have kids center where you can even put your kids there they have um, they have babysitters there to look after your kids it's like every parent's heaven and look at this view I am moving here for sure it's, it's gonna be my new home here I am heading to dinner this is the wine cellar room you can do wine tasting 
and private dining here. This restaurant is French food and it's best for uh, to watch the sunset. And one thing that's really cool here I love so much is everyone gets their little golf car and I get to drive around on my own. Every villa has one. Not many hotels have that. It's the freedom of not to wait for people to pick you up. Love it. Here's the kitchen, open kitchen, and look how lovely is this hanging garden for dinner. I wish I came here before the sunset. It's so beautiful and romantic. Oh, falling in love with this hotel. One little stop, pit stop, before we go back to our villa. They have observatory here. How amazing is that? And apparently, two days ago, it was a full moon. So we get to see the stars and the moon. Morning, rise and shine, my second day on the island. So I am heading to the tree house. So apparently this is a hanging tree pot. So here's a little trail I have to go through and we will be eating on the hanging tree pot. Here I am at the famous tree pot. So when I got here, I thought I was gonna be dining in this forest, but apparently it's not. So they're gonna uh, pull us up all the way in the sky and then I will have an amazing view from there. So let's go, gonna have my breakfast over there. So we've just got to the top and this is where the food comes, right? Yes, wow. And I'm in this hanging tree pot. Breakfast view and ocean view. Ready for my breakfast. My juice has been served now. Juju have to slide back and get more food. Thank you. How does this thing work? Oh, it's electronic? Bye! This is so cool. So much food and the view is amazing. Bye! We'll be back again! Here's a little room tour for the one bedroom uh, beachfront villa. Let's go have a look. Such a beautiful day here today. Palm trees! And actually I just realized this hotel is very yellow and all my outfits are very yellow so I guess it's like camouflage I fit right in this room has super amazing view to the beach uh, the bedroom is almost the same as mine but then you have the dressing room is connected to the master bedroom and then you have outdoor bathroom this is so beautiful. Wow. This bathroom is amazing. So guys, are you ready to see the five bedroom beach villa on this island? Apparently it's like the most luxury and expensive villa on the island. Let's go have a look. So we have the entrance here. living area outdoor dining there's a massive 
pool area. Wow, this is beautiful. There's one bedroom here. You have your own big screen chair. Oh. Heading up to see the bedroom. I think the master bedroom is upstairs. There is a little yoga meditation area here. Is this the master bedroom? Mm -hmm. TV room, okay. Here's the TV room with the study desk and a dressing room? Just saying, yeah, okay. And in case if some of the guests they they come walking over, we can put the chair. And here's the view to the beach. Guest bedroom three. Same kind of setting. And there's a ensuite bathroom. From the spiral staircase. The common area, the pool, and here's a private gym for the guests. Oh, it's pretty full equipped. Here we are, <laughs> trying to head to the treehouse. Ah. Coming down straight to the pool. And you have a water slide. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, and bunker beds. Grateful kids. Taking a boat to the North Beach for lunch. In between the ocean and the river, tropical jungle, so pretty. And they have those uh, in the water hobbit going for a swim later and a beach buffet before I have my spa with six cents at four o'clock. A very eventful day, super packed schedule, but super amazing. Stay tuned. So here I am. Uh, come here for the Six Sense Spa experience. So after the whole day on the beach, I can't wait to get pimpered up. Let's have a look at spa. Which way do we go? Okay, this way. Following my dear Ling. She's my host of the hotel. Uh, hi. So everything here is quite open in the nature. You can see uh, there's a toilet and a dressing table, bathroom, a couch. Gonna have a quick shower. Everything is open air. So, so relaxing here. So, quick shower after the beach time. Then I'm heading to the spa room. Gonna have the massage by Six Cents. Looking forward to that. Heading into my treatment room. All showered and dressed. Wow, it has a beautiful view. And there's outdoor area where you can see the ocean it's so relaxing I'm all ready for the pampering heading to dinner this is where the ocean meets the river and we heading to the river yes <laughs> thank you 
arrived at our dinner menu. So this restaurant is also owned by the hotel. <laughs> this is like a little uh, river sweet escape for the restaurant. I hope I can eat some very nice local Thai food tonight. Morning! Rise and shine! Here is my day 3 on the island and today I am having a tour at the local fishing village and I'm going to the biggest waterfall on the island. First, we are going to visit this temple. It looks like it's abandoned, right? Yes, <laughs> it is famous for abandoned temple. It is actually abandoned. Let's go in and have a look. So here's some local market vibe and this is actually the ferry stop. Uh, everyone who come to visit this island, other than taking the private jet, they have to take um, this ferry. They have it twice a day and on this island they don't really have taxi or bus so they only have those for you to use the fishing boat and there's here's a fish farm there's like fishes everywhere super cool this is the local fishing village even though the water here is so blue this is super cool even like here the water is like so reflective so apparently this island is the fourth island in Thailand. I didn't know about that. Phuket is the biggest one. Koh Samui is second. I forgot which one is the third. And it's so fun to go to this fishing village alleyway. Here's more colorful boats. Fishing it, scooters, local shops, and then you have a local noodle place. This place is really cool. I love the local experiences when you get to see how local people live, and fishing is a big part of this island because they don't really grow. So much on this island. The population for this island is only 2,000 and during peak seasons, including the tourists, they have about 5,000. That's it. Fish. There's more fishes. There's fishes everywhere. And here is one. I want to show you guys. Oh, poor fish. It's a dead puffy fish. Oh. Those boats are super colorful. Love it. And those people actually live. Hi, puppy. They live on the boat. Alright, kids. Next stop, we are going to the waterfall. Um, apparently, it's the biggest one on the island. Let's go have a look. Here we are. Climb over here. Where's the waterfall? Let's go. Go, go. Uh, finally we're here. Apparently it's a dry season so the waterfall is a little small. Here we are, arrived at our snorkeling spot. Look at the water, it's so crystal clear. I am excited to see what's underneath, but too bad. I don't have my GoPro with me this trip, so I can't show you guys the another water world. But next time. Time to go home already. I only had like 30 minutes sleep, but it was beautiful. So I'm gonna chill on the North Beach in the afternoon. 
Good morning, rise and shine. It's my last day here in the hotel on the island. So I've had an amazing stay and the experience has been super overwhelming with all the luxury experience and all the activities on the island and there was a good variety between you know, the jungle, the forest and the ocean. So for those of you who wonder when is going to be the best time to visit this island, so pretty much it's from now, the beginning of November till April next year. So it's the dry season on the island and the other months will be the monsoon season but it won't rain very much you know it will be like a quick shower here and then and then you will be able to enjoy your beach day so i hope you guys loved my youtube for this island and stay tuned for my next trip ciao goodbye we will be back soon such a lovely team had a super amazing stay um, on the island So here we are leaving the island. So there are only two ways to come to this island. You either take the private jet uh, operated by the hotel or you can take a ferry which is uh, from this town really close to the border of Cambodia. So here's uh, my ride which is the private jet and I'll give you guys a quick tour inside here it is and uh, I will be riding this one horn ciao see you guys at the next trip uh, for the next YouTube video